What's going on guys and welcome back to another video on the channel. Hopefully you guys are doing well and today boys We're gonna be reuniting one of the greatest front threes that I've personally seen in world football And that of course is gonna be MSN Messi Suarez and Neymar in the front three And I'm very excited to go ahead and try these boys out in for champs finals and see what they're all about And the main reason why I'm doing this team today is because you guys know if you've been on my channel before I absolutely love Suarez as a FIFA card in previous iterations of FIFA for, and this year they've gone ahead and released him a five star skill moves version for for birthday which is absolutely incredible you guys would know that i played with the rule breakers version back at the start of the year and this version has got similar levels of pace but i think the upgrades across the rest of the card are very substantial as well so it's going to be a really fun card to try out of course with the five star skill moves four star weak foot and he's got some incredible stats i'm very very keen to play him at the front of our front three today in the msn squad now also on top of that boys we did did go ahead and pick up the team of the year Messi because if I was going to run an MSN team I think the team of the year Messi is the one I'd have to go for and I personally played a lot with the goal Messi this year I think his dribbling is absolutely incredible so I'm keen to see what this team of the year Messi version can do and hopefully I can show it and showcase it off in the gameplay for today but yeah I've only really tried out obviously you guys can see the three other team of the years in our team today um but I haven't yet tried out the team of the Messi. I've tried out team of Mbappe. So I'd be curious to see value for coin wise if he's more worth it than the team of Mbappe. We'll have to see if that is the case, of course. But and then of course, I guess the final version, the final card in MSN out of all three of them is of course going to be the flashback Neymar. I'm not going to really talk too much on him today, just because I've already done a video on him and he's an SBC. But um, yeah, of course, I wanted to put in some version of Neymar, and I don't think Neymar's really got too many crazy cards this year. I think the flashback is quite equivalent to the inform personally depending on what you want in the stat distribution and of course the winter wild cards one i don't think is that much crazy better but it's very expensive because it's a central version right so um that's kind of the deal with neymar i'm hoping we eventually go ahead and get ourselves like a 97 98 neymar um but don't know if he's really deserved it for team of the season just because he's been injured a lot this season but um yeah, hopefully we do see some version of special Neymar coming out in the future. That's really, really, really boosted. But anyway, boys, that's going to be the team. We're going to be playing in a 4-3-2-1 with, of course, Messi on the right, Neymar on the left, Suarez a striker. I initially had it in a 4-3-3 false nine. But what I found out is that Messi and Neymar were just too isolated from the play. And I really want to get the interchanging play between Messi, Suarez, and Neymar. So that's why we're going to be playing 4-3-2-1. And uh, hopefully I should be able to show you about 10 or so games worth of gameplay. And then we'll come back after the gameplay and kind of give you guys a bit of an idea of what these cards are about so see you after that five star skill miss suarez game number one and we're gonna get slapped up because we're gonna team you lower <laughs> go on suarez bang i knew it man i knew it as soon as as soon as he had that position where he was, and i can't see his head um as soon as he had that position for the shot it was gonna be a goal like i know this card is gonna be absolutely lethal the question is though is just how is he gonna move on the ball run messi run And they hit the finesse! Oh. I don't know how to finesse shot, man. This is my problem, yeah? Like, I suck at finesse shotting. I feel like that's, like, my main... Oh, go on. Go on, Suarez. Luis Suarez! <laughs> Reverse elastico. Nice little left seat dribbling. Bang. 2-0. Let's go, baby. Authentic. La Liga. There you go. Barcelona badge on. Got the Barcelona badge, Barcelona kit. I don't really care too much about the other boys, by the way. I just want to do the these front three. I think Suarez is nine, and I'm pretty sure Neymar's 11. Cool. Sweet. Just those three. I want those three to have the right numbers. Hopefully this guy doesn't quit out on us. i got to still get through so many games today. We've got seven more games to go. Uh, Ben Yedda. He's got Cyprian in there. I feel like I'm rushing it too much. I need to slow it down, man. The thing is, the 4 3 2 one is a rush formation. That's 1-0. Nice work, Griezmann. Suarez into Neymar. <sighs> Bro, the dribbling today is not good. That being said, that's Messi, though. That being said, that is Lionel Messi, though. And he had that bail, and I was just, like, losing my mind against him. That's beautiful for Messi. Messi into Suarez. 2-1, baby. This is the formation. This is it. Like, really, really tough. So I'm not surprised that you, um, you're having a bit of an issue. Wow. That's a great shot from Yedder. Okay. It's just like, they can take a shot from there and it goes out for a... 
This this gameplay today has just been a felt felt like a bit odd. That's Paul Suarez. Of course I read time the man. What am I doing? <laughs> I would I would sell personally. If 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 you're not using him, sell him, because he will go down, I would imagine. It's only a left back, and it's too much for a left back in my opinion. There we go. <laughs> I can't score a goal from like four yards up. Of course, I can score a Velocity flick. Go on. Oh, one more. Bang. There we go. Oh, GG's. GG's, GG's. Ben Yedda Griezmann. Vinny J. Right now, we're in like a battle of the midfields. Like, it's just like me go to his midfield, go back to his my midfield, you know. Bro, Messi's turning is unreal. This card's turning. As long as you just don't hold the left, the, the right trigger, his turning is unbelievable, man. Look at that left stick. That's all left stick. It's so crazy. Like, you need that level of dribbling on the attack in PlayStation 5. Because otherwise, it's just not good enough. Suarez? Bang. It's the clinical boys. It's not me. It's the players. They help a lot. Like, the players I'm playing with are, are very good. Like, th this messy card... Like, you see how quick he, dri he dribbles and turns. Like, look at that, man. That's so ridiculous. But that, that's not me. That's like, I'm not that great at left stick dribbling. I'm really poor at it. But with Messi, it's incredible. Ne Neymar, I would say, yeah. I do agree. I think, I think the Neymar's one. Probably. But he's also got skill moves. So, you know, it's not bad. I think that was a, a goal each from MSN, if I'm not mistaken. One from Messi, one from Neymar, one from Suarez. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, right there. Not a crazy team, but decently meta enough. Where is Louis? There he is. He's, he's like offside by a mile. There he is. Versus Elastico, bang. Bruh. Louis Suarez with five star skills is just different, man. It's just different. I think the thing is, right, he is still a bit chunky. Like the, the, the body type is still going to get you there. Sometimes and like maybe those more meta games, but like you like you can get into that angle so easily now, you know, because of the reverse elastico. It's so huge, man. Something messy. Could say Donnarumma, but I mean I'll take it. It's good overlap from him. As far as if we can do a reverse elastico there, <laughs> I'm just trying to try and like see what his dribbling's like. It's not bad. It's just it's hard to you know. Like again, against the good defenders, it's going to be always hard. Go on, Suarez. I saw the run, and I was thinking maybe he could get the dive. Um, I feel like I had to green time that. So it, it's definitely a fun formation. I don't mind it. I don't think it's very balanced. I feel like it, like in some situations, you may be left open, and there's not that much like possession. But it's still a fun formation. I quite enjoy it. But go on, one more. Beautiful, man. And Suarez, of course, he's lethal, man. He don't miss. Oh, he's got mid, mid Pele. Gotta be careful of that boy. Griezmann as well. Griezmann's a good card. Good tackle, Theo. That was clutch, because I think uh, we would have been in a bit of a sticky situation otherwise. Again, with the timing, man. What am I doing? He looks very good, to be fair. He does. Go on, Suarez. We're very close to the goal. We are exceptionally close to the goal right now. Offside from Neymar. He's offside, isn't he? Oh, he's not. Oh, he's not offside. And Suarez, of course, even if he's injured, he still scores. It's clinical. I don't know if you're going to end up selling him or not. Oh, please. What can you do with that, man? What can you do? Oh, my God, Suarez. Kunde had the ball, and he took it off his feet. Suarez. <sighs> Guys, five-star skill from Suarez is the one, yeah? Guys, what I gotta do to get this card untradeable, boys? I swear down, I need to get him untradeable this week. I have to. It's mainly because I just wanted to play with Zidane, you know? But I'd say in every normal circumstance, definitely not. 
Like, are you seeing what I'm seeing, man? This guy is just nuts. <laughs> He's so good. It's actually crazy. It's a pretty interesting team. Let's go Gold Martial. Go Kante and go Mbappe. But then he has two team year cards. Guy too cracked, man. He's so good. <sighs> Suarez, bro. Suarez. And I'll show you what the difference is between the two. But again, it just depends on what you want to play and how you want to play. I think it's like... Go on. Yeah, there we go. 3-0. Uh, That's a good team, man. Maldini, Cruyff. And also team of the year, Cancelo and Ruben Diaz. Damn. Oh, straight back. Suarez. I'm going to be so aware on, on the counter, though, in this game. This guy on the counter seems nuts. Thank you, Messi. Team of the year, Messi, man. Let's go. Guys, this game's only 1-0 as well. That messy dribbling is so good. Come on. Suarez. He's too cracked, man. He's too cracked. He's too cracked. No normal Suarez can do that, though, you know? And I didn't do anything there, and he just jumped across to it. That's a poor pass. Really poor pass. Oh, let's do one. Wow. Damn it, man. Okay. That's a Kimi. Messi, please. Let's go, man. Come on! But the foot, like the, the online ones aren't hard. They're pretty fun. Just because you, you score a goal and then they quit. Well, at least most people do. The goat, man. The goat. Yeah. I, I think that card, I think that the only icon that's kind of worth it there, I would say. Messi once again. I think that's four goals for Team Yeah Messi. Bro, that's a weird team, man. Like a lot of SBCs and then like he's got that that Eredivisie guy. Nice. That's great. Just runs it down. That's 1-0. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. Like I know people who ended Team Yeah without one. That's so bad for me. That's my fault, man. I've literally just given him that goal. That's also the press as well. But that's uh, that's my own fault. Oh, that's sus from Neto, man. Guess I was quite lucky. That's also quite lucky. That not so much, not not so much lucky, but but the other stuff before that, that was quite lucky. <laughs> Bro, this so this card is so cracked. He is so cracked. I love him. I love him, boys. I love this messy card, man. Do you see that, like, close control dribble? And then just the audacity to chip it on the angle. Oh, my God, man. Oh, I, I genuinely reckon, yeah. I genuinely reckon that Messi is a bigger game changer than the Mbappe team of the year. I, I honestly do. Like, I think Mbappe at, like, what? 5.5 mil. Messi at, like, 2.6, 2.7. So much better value. He's so good. I know he loses the ball, I think, right here or something. Like, oh yeah, the, the thing. But like, look at that! Look at that dink! Oh my god. <laughs> Just the precision. Joao Cancel. This is for rank three, right? If we win this, we're rank three guaranteed. This messy card's unbelievable. Ha! Huh. 
I mean, I guess that's a team you have Kevin De Bruyne, so he can do that. That's 1-1. One, one. Let's go, Messi! Oh my god, man. This card is so cracked. Like, I think yesterday Suarez was carrying us hard time. This messy team here is carrying me so much this time around. Come on, Suarez. Luis Suarez! <sighs> Hopefully that's game, man. This is a really tough game. Not, not that crazy. Like, it's, it's pretty standard. It's probably like what? Like a two to three mole team? Don't know if that's because Messi's injured, but he just felt slow there. Yeah, the the bounces also boosted as well on that Ronnie. That's a big deal. Come on, win, 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 win. Need, I need it to be half time. Let's go, Messi. Come on, man. Let's go. Beautiful. Beautiful, come on! Let's go, man! Oh. Suarez is just so good, bro. So clinical. Great attack. His attack positioning is unreal as well. Look, I'm very confused, yeah? Because you see Pele, and you see Timmy Cancelo. And then you see a gold backline that's probably gonna like clamp me up that I was using back in like October. Luis Suarez, man. Nice, it done. Go on, Ney. Let's go, Neymar. That's the 99 shot power. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good, man. That's what I'm saying with the Pele, though. Like, Pele's that sort of boy. He can't do that. Off? It wasn't off. It's a good goal. It was a good goal. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing, man? What am I doing? On you know. So I kind of just have to, like, but the thing is, like, it's the second ball, right? I shouldn't. Okay, I gotta go up. I gotta do it. Get so exposed in the spot. <clears throat> it's just done. It's done, man. We still have one game, yeah? We still have one game to get 19, but... I mean, it implies we get 19, though. We still have to win the next game, right? Come on. If I lose back-to-back -back games to golds, Marquinhos and Akimi. That's beautiful from Suarez. Go on, Chewy. <laughs> Suarez hat trick. But the thing is always, if your opponent knows how to exploit it, then you're in a rough spot, you know? Then you're in a very rough spot. So there we go, lads. As you are able to see, first time ever this year. 77 points out of 76. My highest ever weekend league finish. And it is, of course, a rank one finish. Alrighty, guys. So that was the gameplay. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And at the end of this weekend, we actually did really well. We lost our second last game, if I'm not mistaken, at 18 and 0. But overall, we managed to finish on 19 and 1, which means we get ourselves the rank one for champs final rewards for the first time, which is absolutely incredible. I've never been 19 and 1 before. So very, very happy with the weekend league result overall. Wish we could have got the 20 and 0, but it didn't really matter because we had the rank one rewards. And if you guys haven't seen the video for that yet go check it out on our channel it's the last video i'll leave a link in the description below as well as at the end of the video at the end screen uh but we managed to pack ourselves a crazy 
moments icon pack pool which really justified us like actually playing with some different fun players this weekend because i was losing quite a bit of coins on messi and suarez and as you guys know we were on a road to glory so i don't really like losing a lot of coins and trying a lot of cards and losing coins and tax but um this weekend was like a hundred percent worth it after that pack pool so if you guys haven't got, uh, gone and checked out that video i'd highly recommend it once again i'll leave a link in the description below but anyway boys let's talk about msn let's talk about the front three and um what they were all about and the first card of course we're going to talk about is going to be the Luis Suarez 93 rated foot birthday card the brand new card coming into the game I think the card you guys are probably going to want to know the most about in today's video and of course with this card he's got five star skill moves and four star week for that's the unique thing about this card brand new five star skills on foot birthday this, on Luis Suarez's card and then of course he's six foot with high medium work rate, I'm pretty sure as well as also the unique Suarez body type but I think that's the one thing that you might say maybe be a bit questionable is because he is a bit more stocky in game of course but when i think about this card and when i'm doing a review on this card i gotta say he's probably one of my favorite cards this entirety of this year um mainly of course i do like suarez and previous FIFA, so maybe i'm a tiny bit biased there uh, but I don't really see like any weakness with this card overall personally um, Of course, we checked the engine chem style on him. So that gave him 99 acceleration I personally think he's fast enough with that with the 91 sprint speed because realistically acceleration is what he lets him get in behind And then also on top of that you have that crazy dribbling stats with the 92 agility 99 balance 99 dribbling 97 reactions and um He's also got incredible passing stats with the 96 vision and the 95 short passing, which is like the two main stats you kind of need on a striker. Now, what I would say as well, his finishing is lethal. You don't really need to touch it. 97 finishing, 93 shot power, 95 positioning. He pretty much scores everything you do really want him to score. And I think the one thing you might be able to say is maybe a bit of a weakness on this card is probably the jumping. I don't really use too many crosses or long balls or hit too many passes high to Luis Suarez. So I can't really comment on this but he does only have 74 jumping and if heading is a big part of your game then maybe this is maybe where the card kind of falters down but besides that his skill moves come off really clean um of course with the five star skills you can do your, your elasticos reverse elasticos rabona fake shots alternados blasty flicks is something that i personally love to do with five star skills he's so 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 fun and you guys would have seen it probably throughout the gameplay how much i was enjoying playing with him so um i think he's like a million coins still 1.1 mil i think the price is justified honestly i don't know if it will hold that's what i would say but it's probably one of my favorite cards in this year's fifa and my hope and prayer is that sometime across this week we do match to go ahead and get him untradeable but i think that's gonna be exceptionally hard but i mean he's probably one of my favorite cards i think the only thing i'd say though is the links are quite rough on the card of course i know we obviously linked him with griezmann and zidane with the icon link as well but uh to get this card on chemistry you kind of need pretty much atletico players which uh you got griezmann you got joao felix you got marcus Lorente, um probably got Ren and Lottie in there as well but there's not too many crazy links so do keep that in the back of the mind if you're aiming to kind of fit this card into your team also La League is not that crazy as well with some of the links um but I mean he's such a fun card and I think if you guys have the ability to go ahead and try him out you definitely definitely should moving onwards we got the team of the year Messi to talk about of course he's four star four star and of course he's got those crazy team of the year stats I think he's right now about 2.5 2.6 million coins has come down a bit and the one thing that we did uh, put on him is, of course, a Hawk Chem style because he doesn't really need the dribbling boost. So with the Hawk Chemistry style, he does get 99 acceleration with a 95 sprint speed. He also gets that strength as well as also the shot power. Um, you guys know that he's got medium low work rates, but I don't think that really matters too much because it is messy. He kind of just does messy things in this year's game. And the one thing I'll say about this card is his left stick dribbling is unlike any other card I've played on, his ga on this game. And I think it's probably to do also with the body type that he's got where he's got that like unique messy body type um but you can basically play football to the simplest version that you can within fifa no need for the ball roll scoops all these skill cancels etc etc this guy is like dribbling and micro touches and all that sort of like fine detail stuff is just like top tier i've never seen anything like it he, like instead of like do, having to do a ball roll scoop to get back into the spot you can just use left stick dribbling which is just so incredible so um yeah i think honestly this is probably one of the best cards i play with in the entirety of fifa and obviously you would think so right he's 2.6 million coins so he should be one of the best cards um i personally think that he's probably a bigger game changer 
than the team near Mbappe. The only thing is, though, is if you're one of those get in behind players, then you might have an issue kind of running with this card because he doesn't really have that get him behind ability with a five foot seven with the low earth strength, of course, as well. Um, he has decent strength on the team here, like at an 85, but it's nothing crazy with the Hawk. Uh, but it's nothing like ridiculous, ridiculous. Um, but I think with that lower strength and the five foot seven, you just don't have the ability to like break in behind a defender you know that like cheese ability when you're like doing a running scoop and he just like breaks through the entire defense and he's in on that and he's got to go right that's kind of like what team mbappe is good with uh but with the team you messi if you're someone who loves your left stick dribbling and your close control dribble he is a must get card i personally think you got maxed out shooting stats of course with the hawk as well um there's not really anything wrong with this card i would say so yeah it's an incredible card i had i'm happy i had the privilege to try him out and I'm hoping at some point I do, a, I'm able to get at least a card close to this untradeable or maybe like a team of the season version. I don't know if he will, because honestly, I don't think he's had the craziest seasons. I think he's racking up the assist now, but I think at the, like, the halfway point, he wasn't doing the best. I think it was on like one goal. So, um, don't know if he'll end up in the team of the season for league one, but I do hope at some point I'm able to get a version of Messi of this level untradeable. I'm still running the gold normally in my team, but this team of the year one is absolutely unbelievable. So, yeah, this card's really, really good. I think I guess like the final card that we do have to talk about today is of course going to be the flashback Neymar. And I will say out of the front three of MSN, he's probably the card I noticed the least. Um, he did score some pretty important goals and he was good on the wing on the ball, of course. But uh, just when you compare it to the like cleanness and the preciseness of team with the Messi who can like just pass shoot dribble to like perfection and then you've also got Suarez who's such a dominant striker with the five star skills um Neymar just kind of felt like a little bit behind but that's what you would expect normally right you got a 1 million coin card and a 2.7 million coin card a 250k SBC is not really going to shine out too much so that's why I'm kind of hoping we do see a better version of Neymar overall eventually but um yeah, regardless, I think this team was so fun to play with. I do also want to say as well, um, this is my first time playing with the 4-3-2-1. And I think for a team like this where you've got a front three, it makes perfect sense because all three players are so involved in the team. Um, it was like a really, really, really good formation. I really enjoyed it this weekend. I didn't need to change out of it as well. And I just had a really, really good time with this team overall, man. So uh, that's kind of like my verdict for MSN. Hopefully that kind of give you a bit of insight into the Suarez and the Messi. Um, yeah, they're two incredible cards. I think they're two of the top cards in this game. And they're definitely worth their coins, 100%. 100%. I think Messi definitely is probably more worth than Mbappe as well. If you would to ask me which one's more worth it, Messi's 100% more worth it. But anyway, boys, that's going to do it for the video for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Once again, if you want to check out the rewards, a link will be down in the description below as well as the end of the video. So go check it out. But anyway, boys, We'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, have a good one, much love, and peace. Whenever your heart is broken, don't ever forget your golden. I will find a light in your soul. I'll